So some might ask, you know, on marine stuff, obviously it's expensive anyway, but why, if you get a drop in ready, why is it so expensive? There's a lot of time and effort that goes into all this, getting everything clocked right, tucked in tight. So all the water lines are done, accessory drive. So for instance, with this oil pan, you can see that you got clearance, but barely. So it take two nineties and we'll weld that on to where it's basically in line with that lower hose. Super important if you want it nice, executed. The starter will be on there. We actually had to flip this starter block and uh, get this to where, obviously these come with Allen head bolts and that you cannot get to them in the boat. That's a problem. So uh, we flipped the block. You can see it's actually recessed here for a cap screw. Uh, stainless hardware, re the starter. That way it's not into the pan and everything else. A little bit of modifications to cylinder head bracket for the circuit breaker MSD. Mounting your coil, running all the oil lines to the brick intercooler, or sorry, oil cooler. We need some 90 fittings there. We'll wire all this to where they're just gonna plug in you just plug your boat harness in and you'll be ready to roll. Alternator, everything will already be wired. Um, what I showed you there was the MDC, so this drive coupler. This isn't your normal mercury stuff, good, good stuff. That's the MCO upgraded bell housing. And you can kind of see, like even the alternator, we don't use any wires like this. Uh, this will all be Deutsch connector, quick disconnect. So get ready to do power steering plumbing. Well, this one, our engine tags, 5290. This is our offshore 350 CNC cylinder head. Like I said, 632. Just add to the bone. That's actually not the tailpipe for it. Thanks to Harden Marine for all this nice stuff. But uh, it just takes a lot of time if you want to do this right. So stay tuned. She's gonna go to the dyno shortly.